First question on the aisle over here, Robert. Right here, LeBron. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Robert Littow, Black Sports Online. Um, you guys um, came out really strong in the third quarter, uh, got a lead, uh, seemed like you had the momentum, and then there was that uh, small altercation with Delhi and uh, Iguodala. Uh, did, that guy, uh, did that break you guys' momentum? And, um, you know, did you feel like uh, you guys kind of maybe lost your composure after that happened? No, we're not a team to lose our composure over anything. Um, you know, we, we played well in the third quarter to get ourselves back into the game, even taking the lead a couple times. Um, it was a six-point game to start the fourth, and we just didn't, we didn't start the quarter, you know, as uh, we should have. And, you know, they, they did a great job of, uh, you know, pushing the lead up to, uh, to double digits really fast. Fourth row on the side. Ron, Tony Zarella, Cleveland 19. Obviously, uh, holding Steph and Clay to a combined 20 would seem to be a great blueprint. Is it discouraging to then see their bench erupt for 45? Uh, when you get out score 45 10 and on the bench and you give up 25 points off 17 turnovers, no matter what someone does or doesn't do, it's going to be hard to win, especially on the road. And, uh, and, and that's what it was. Uh, obviously, the game ball goes to Sean Livingston, came in, gave him a huge spark. But no matter what you do with Steph and Clay, uh, no matter what you do with Draymond, Give up 45 points um, off the bench and uh, 25 points off turnovers uh, on the road. It's not a good ingredient to win. Joe over here on this side. Joe Varden, Cleveland.com. Uh, LeBron, taking a step way back from it all, I, this is your seventh finals, and I think you've only won game one once. So you've been in this situation a bunch. Um, what do you make of just what happened tonight and, and where you are now and, and just you know how you how you get into this series? Well, we got to be much better in game two, obviously. Um, I think defensively we, we had a game plan and we followed it as much as possible. Um, well, as, as great as we could for 48 minutes, we had some breakdowns, uh, which we know we can get better with. Um, offensively, we got to be much better. Uh, we got to be much better moving the ball, moving bodies. Uh, they're a great team when you just um, you know just hold the ball and pound the ball. So uh, we got to do a better job of that, which Coach Lou and the coach staff will make sure that we do in game two. Uh, so we look forward to the challenge again. Uh, just. Two, two days in between doesn't, doesn't help. It doesn't feel good, but um, it gives our body a chance to uh, get some rest. Far right side on the aisle. Uh, Jason Lesku, SF Bay. Uh, LeBron, does, obviously this, this team and the series is a lot different than last year, but how much different after this game here do you think it is? I don't quite get your question. With, you know, the Warriors roster is the same, but, you know, last year it was, it was Curry, it was Clay. And some of those guys taking over, but after game one, having the bench go and score forty five points, does that change your view of of how this series might go and and what you have to prepare for? Um, I think you're wrong in the fact of saying it was just uh, Clay and Steph. I mean, they got to the point where they were last year and won a championship because of their whole team and their bench, and they're here once again in the finals because of their whole team. So, you know, nothing has really changed. Um, they're a team that's had another year under their belt, and they've they've uh, exceeded um, the, what they did last year. Um, so um, it's kind of hard to answer that question because it's not really true. From the World Journal, what's happened with the, our bench and the JR? You know, our bench combined scored ten points, and JR scored three points. What happened? Yeah. They scored forty-five points. We scored ten. That's what happened. Chris in the middle. Chris Hangs, Cleveland.com. Uh, Brian, Joe touched on it um, earlier. You, you've been in this position before already. Um, curious to some of your guys, the other guys. Um, this is, you know, lost game one. This is the finals of stage like that. This is a time where some younger players possibly can get overwhelmed or threat. What, what have you seen from the other guys? Um, well, I think they uh, – they look forward to seeing what we can do better uh, tomorrow in our film session and seeing ways we can get better going in the game, too. Um, yeah, we got some young guys, but uh, as far as confidence and those guys not believing, uh, that's never been the case for us or any of the guys in the locker room. So uh, I know they're excited. Um, you know, we had a chance, you know, in that third quarter to uh, to do something special, but we didn't we didn't counter and do it, you know, didn't make it happen in the fourth quarter. So. Uh, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing the film session and seeing ways we can get better going in the game, too, and I think our team as well. Chris, standing on the left over here. Uh, LeBron, Chris Mannix with Yahoo Sports. You guys had 17 assists uh, on this game tonight. Did you, were you happy with the flow of the offense? It seemed like you and Kyrie a lot of times were taking it upon yourself to try to score for it. 
Um, at times I was, and at times I wasn't. Uh, you know, we definitely got to do a better job of getting the ball moving from side to side, getting their bodies moving. Uh, they're a great team when you just have the ball on one side, they're able to load and uh, do things of that nature. So, um, you know, we we will have a better game plan going into game two, uh, for sure, offensively. And, you know, sometimes your offense dictates your defense, you know, and, uh, you know, the fact that we had 17 turnovers and it led to 25 points is not a good ingredient for our offense, for sure. Mark in the front. LeBron, Mark Schwartz, ESPN. We saw Iguodala strip Westbrook and Durant in the close of game six. Tonight he got one on you, one on Kyrie. Anything you can do knowing about his wingspan, his quickness, and his anticipation to prevent? Oh, well, he's great at doing that for sure. And uh, she's got to do a better job protecting the ball. It's that, it's that simple. Thank you, LeBron. Draymond will be right in. <laughs> 